Hey Pisces, how are you today? This is a very empowered energy that I'm sitting with here. Um, so these are timeless readings. They are for any Pisces significant placements. Um, happy birthday if it's your birthday today, Pisces, because I am recording these in Pisces season. Um, but if you're a Pisces significant placement and you happen to come across these on your birthday, happy birthday too. Um, and for the rest of you, just happy day. What a beautiful day. Uh, wow. Empowered, very uh, specific energy coming through today. And the cards are just lining up with that um we have got the enchanted map oracle here today is about setting the course of where you want to go taking some time out and just being really 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 clear what it is that you actually want to achieve um we have uh when we're transitioning a lot of ideas and a lot of thoughts we might reach out for help and then somebody says well what do you want um and the answer really needs to be there in your head it's not something that other people can help you with so I just want to talk through the cards. Um, I appreciate that might be a little bit boring for some of you. Skip past this if you want. Please press, press fast forward. But there is a story that is relevant. The cards have come out in an order. We have got here the enchanted map, so setting the direction. We've got the urban crow oracle, which is a really hard-nosed energy. It is about these are your energy blocks. You need to deal with them. I always go, uh-oh, when this card deck comes out because it's it's um, uh <laughs> It's really to the point. <laughs> then we've got the cosmic energy, the cosmic journey, harnessing the energy of the universe. We've got the um, energy cards, which is harnessing your internal energy. And then we've got the practical magic cards, which is about making magic happen. And over here, we've got the angel dogs tarot and the crow tarot, which is um, the angel dogs is like setting the intention of, you know, what is it that you want to achieve? What's in your heart? Um, and then the crow tarot here is very much about um allowing the energy between the two worlds to flow through and seeing what the universe has to say. So uh, -hoo, <laughs> we're off, we're off and running, but we're not off and running yet, Pisces, because there's an invitation to be really clear about what it is that you want. What do you actually want to achieve? Um, what do you have your sights in? And I'll just give you an example. If you're into sailing or if you can just imagine a sailing boat um, wanting to set sail and discover something, uh, wanting to cross the Atlantic, you need to be prepared and you need to be clear about where you want to go. Um, other people might just be happy in shallow waters uh, or close inshore waters racing. And when you race around goals, you kind of go around in circles and short term goals and like things tend to break when you're too hard on yourself to try to achieve things in the short term. When you set long term, you know that you're going to meet um, challenges, but you prepare, you take what you need. Um, OK, uh, right. Making a choice. <laughs> you can't make this up if you tried. Yesterday we had going through a door. Today we have. Right. It's time to choose which door. The doors are open. It's ready. Um, there is peace. Which which door is going to bring you peace? And it's really um, imperative that you feel your way through which is the right choice so you get into your feelings out of your head out of your thinking patterns and into your intuition into your feelings ghost lands um leaving behind the ghosts of the past leaving behind things that don't work for you and bone collection okay this is i always think this is kind of like the will of fortune this is a, an energy of saying what are the what are the ghosts that you want to leave behind what are the what are the skeletons of your past? What are the ancestral patterns that you don't want with you? And actually, where is where is your destiny? Where is your wheel of fortune? Where is the happy energy? Um, okay, wow. And it's card number one, which is a, basically the magician. So this is like your ancestors are waiting to help you with the magic of making it happen. Um, so today is a, a an energy of... Um, I want to say ghosting anything that isn't belonging to you, but please don't do that if it doesn't work for you. Sometimes you just have to leave behind what it is that just isn't right. And if it's not there to step up and go through the right door with you, then it just kind of needs to fall off your path, um, which is really hard and really tough because there's a lot of grief associated with that. There's a lot of anxiety and fear of going out on your own. Um, but, oh, okay, these usually come out in fire, so I've been called to... There we go. Get another one. They like to, crows right, like to work in pairs. Okay, so let's see what we've got over here. Saw and knight. Okay, uh, 33, again, which is about support and then commitment and dominance. Uh, okay, all right, really helpful. So you will saw 
into your future when you make a commitment to what your path is and there is the energies of needing to be overcome which is um the sleepless nights of wondering who is going to support you in your choices um you have perhaps been dreaming perhaps been having fearful thoughts and here we've got the dominance it's like it's letting go of those fears that might keep you awake of energy that has held you back and would try to persuade you to go through a door that isn't right for you and making a commitment to yourself and if those of you who are worried about going through the wrong door because somebody won't come through the door with you then you're not committing to your future somebody who will commit to you if you're single and you want to go through a door that you think will leave somebody behind then they are your your potential will not be whom what you really want it to be so so our whole society is driven by lack sacrifice and control and the idea that we are not worthy that we um, have to give ourselves over to other people and other people are allowed to dominate us when we become completely free and balanced and we go through the doors of our own choices um, we actually don't, probably don't experience many people who are there in that kind of balanced energy but what we are doing is fulfilling our destiny and our promise and we're helping the world to come back into balance of free will and love and the right choices uh, I am going to go for some tarot first before we go to the next oracle cards. Okay, so um, an invitation here to, uh, or a message, not an invitation, a message from the crows that in order for the crows, the, the energy between worlds to help you to go through the right door and not feel alone and really feel like you can move on past the skeletons of your ancestor's closet, you kind of need to make a commitment to make the choice for you based on how you feel, not what um, other people might then fear or you fear because of other people's dominance. OK. Um, I, I think Pisces energetically, the what I'm picking up from so many of you in this collective is that you're up for it. You're ready. <laughs> um, yesterday we had the door. It's it's a. Um, the, the pathway is there. Uh, the initiation process has started. Now you're on that path. It's right. Which one do I want? And actually, there could be two amazing choices for you ahead. Um, and this is the invitation to choose the right one that is right for you now. That's because there is um, two doors. It doesn't mean to say that the second door doesn't appear again on the way down the track. Okay, so the Hermit and the Hierophant, you've done all of the work of um, studying and mastering who you are. There's the Nine of Swords energy. You've been very patient with yourself through these sleepless nights. So the Nine of Swords and this night energy is kind of the same. It's the fears, um, being patient with yourself about them, spending time mastering your energy, mastering your destiny, and Eight of Wands. <laughs> okay, you're ready. You're ready to take action. And the, the universe is ready to bring energy or a message to you as soon as you are really clear about your choice <laughs> what is your choice and then the universe is saying right we're on it we're on it we're coming it's it's there it's like um i feel like the universe is it's written almost like both letters you just make you go to the, the you go to the end of the the path there you go on the track that you choose and in comes the um information the message the support the help very very quickly like almost instantly that will say right we're going to help you do this um and it is going to be um very exciting and it's going to happen at speed um and if you've been in hermit mode for a long period of time mastering everything one of the things that you might need to let go of is that um fear of being out of control because things start to move really quickly for you okay so cosmic journey let's call on the universe to see what it is that is going to be helping us there's so much excitement going on here places i'm just like i'm just i'm 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 gunning for you i really am <laughs> um okay we have got the, uni the universe wants to co-conspire with you yes it does okay we've just seen that it's ready and we have got um enter one step forward one step onward enter the door that you want to enter into this is just the best set of cards so far. It's so um, it's so lined up. 
Okay, being a girl in need of symmetry, I want something to go with this eight of wands. I'm not sure it goes with it, but it might. Oh, there we go. Uh -huh. Okay, not only is the universe going to send you a message, if you are interested in a romantic partnership, their romance is going to come flying in as well. Um, certainly these two cards of communication, it could be the communication comes in from somebody that you absolutely love, or it's just going to be really loving communication. It's just going to show how much love and support the universe has for you. Could even be somebody who's ghosted you in the past, has gone and shaken out the, the, the skeletons in their closet. Um, we might get some information on this. We might not. If it resonates for you, it does. If it doesn't, then um, please take it or leave it. If it comes through, um, obviously, we'll explore it some more. But you're going to get messages of um, opportunities and you're going to get messages that are really based on love and support because um, you're choosing what is right for you with huge love and support for yourself. OK, so now we're going to go. We've got the cosmic energy lined up. Let's just go to your uh, uh, internal energy or ancestral energy, just other energy sources. What other energy now that you're totally focused? Oh dear, I can't cope with three because it'll put me out of source. No, it'll be all right. We'll be good. Oh, it needs to go on here. Okay. We have got goddess of the moon. Okay. Harnessing your emotions. Um, we have got the sixth chakra, Archangel Meditation, Metatron, sorry, the sixth chakra is your creativity, it's so relevant, and we have a man holding the heart, <laughs> how lovely, okay, so you need to harness your inner energy, um, be prepared to really shine a light out into the world about your creativity, Archangel Metatron um, is uh, here to help guide and support you and feel um uh, that you are that your creativity is extremely important and relevant to the world I just want to put these down here and yeah these line up a bit better there we go I don't like covering up cards sometimes we have to okay so the hermit and hierophant this is why I need to put these down here hopefully you can see them yes um the hierophant, the hermit, the goddess of the moon, um, it's, it's almost like there's a moon coming out of the light, coming out of the tunnel. The light at the end of the tunnel is that you are um, energetically ready to call in what it is in terms of the support that you need. The um, energy of the moon is a manifestation energy. When the energy of the moon comes closer to the earth, the um, the emotional uh rising of anything that's watery so like the sea for example but our emotions are fluid energy um and what we really really want is fluid energy um we will be magnetized to those energies that are ready to meet us energetically which are really really strong in our emotions which is why we always say like if emotionally you keep dwelling on something that you don't want um then uh, you're going to attract that because that's what's sitting in your emotional system. So if you focus emotionally on what you do want, then you're going to attract that too because that's what's sitting in your emotional system. So um, I've actually read this wrong. Sixth chakra, sixth chakra is oh, sixth chakra <laughs> is uh, third eye. So going up the body. <laughs> I was going down the body, but it's really relevant because our um, emotional energy um, is our creativity and our creativity and our vision our third eye vision together say i know where i'm going to go and that's the making the choice so archangel metatron is here to help you um have absolute clarity about what it is that you want so calling on your third eye calling on your um claire um knowing claire sentience claire vision that's right claire sentence um is going to really bring you the clarity that you need, Claire Cognizance, that's the one, Ooh, clarity that you need, um, I'm too excited, to um, help you really know which choice that it is that you want. And this sleepless nights, patience, working it out, being really, really clear with yourself, be patient about what it is that you want, because as soon as you know, <clears throat> that is going to start to really come in. And then we've got a man holding the heart. I mean, we've got the Knight of Cups and a man holding the heart. So somebody is going to come in to help you. And it's and 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 perhaps you have been receiving loads and loads of signs and synchronicities and 
energetic messages of support from the universe, but you haven't received a physical res- support. Now, this could be, this, well, this is a romantic connection. So if you're male or female, please just take this energy as somebody who um, wants to ground into reality a romantic connection with you, but also to help you, to support you, to to help you um, on this path ahead so so this energy is basically saying um you know i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna look we've got the path going on in here i'm my my dock is going to land at the same time as you um i'm ready to meet you because my path is taking me towards you even though this person is really important to remember that this person has their own path so if you join forces with somebody um and this could be work so this could be somebody who's helping you from a work perspective it doesn't have to be romantic for those of you who it that doesn't feel right um it could just be somebody who really really values what you're doing and wants to emotionally help you wants to give love to your cause and make you feel loved and supported and the and the angels are going to basically bring the right person to you that's the other thing if you've been manifesting the right person stay on the thoughts of the right person um, emotionally or financially uh, and financially even uh, and definitely um, you know somebody who can help you um, I feel like I'm waffling now there's something about this that you're just feeling that you are um, a bit tongue-tied a little bit um, so unused to being supported properly and being ghosted and um, having to deal with your own um, maybe your own family your own ancestral patterns the thought of somebody coming in to help you who actually gets your vision is almost a little bit too good to be true. Okay. But it is going to happen because you're ready for it, Pisces. As I said, this could be um, a romantic person or it could be a, 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 a um, business person or it could be a friend who just gets you. Okay, so the magic is going to happen. What's the magic that's going to happen? We have got rest and we have got dance the magic can happen and will happen when you just give it space to happen all those fit up there um so there's an invitation to allow a bit of time um and space for the universe to make sure that everything is aligned depending on which goal you go through so if you're standing like just before the v here and you have determined so take a little bit of rest take a little bit of time out go into your fields and say right where do i want to go next what is the path what is the goal that i want to um, move towards next to flow towards what is the consequences of doing that what am I going to do? What am I going to feel? How's this next year going to pan out for me? How's the next five years going to pan out for me um, in terms of my purpose, in terms of what I want to deliver to the world? And don't try to find solutions. Just say, this is what the next thing I would like to happen. Um, and that will allow the universe to really, really hear your thoughts clearly, take time to actually put them down. What is it that you need to do to dance to your own tune? Um, and be clear, journal it, write it down, spend some time. Um, we've got these mountains and, and and they're not obstacles. Close your eyes to the idea that you might think that moving forward to where you want to go is an obstacle. I actually was really drawn to putting this out today when I was um, just before lockdown, just before COVID hit. Um, I walked over the Annapurna mountain circuit in Nepal. Um, we were the last tourist group to go over the circuit and we got home literally two days before lockdown happened and walking over the Annapurna circuit is something that I had dreamt of doing since I was about 14 and I achieved it when I was 48 um, and and it wasn't really that I couldn't materially achieve it it's just I wasn't ready in my life and I needed to find the right buddy who wanted to go and do something adventurous like that with me um, and the circumstances need to align themselves and the energy that happened afterwards I, I know for certain that is like I, I was I was kind of guided to do it then um I didn't know that at the time and um I it was a goal I'd set for a long period of time but I kind of just put it out of my head because circumstances just didn't really line at the point in time for that to happen but it was a mountain I knew that I was going to climb um and I didn't try to force it and and this is this is what um 
this is what this energy is saying is like just put your dream out there be really really clear about it and let things line up okay but in this instance things are going to happen really quickly it's not going to be many 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 years you're ready for something very new and it's going to happen okay so we have got the three of cups so we're just going to now go to the crows and just say right how are they going to help okay what are they going to do we've got the three of cups we have got the five of one no five of pentacles and we have got the Knight of Swords. Okay, so I'm going to clarify these. So the Three of Cups is about happiness and friendship and community, but we've got the Five of Pentacles, which can be a little bit about um, feeling worried, feeling a bit left out, uh, wondering, worried financially. Um, and we've got the Knight of Swords, which is a really fast moving change. Like um, when you're really clear about your thoughts, your th the energy of your thoughts can kind of come out there. We've got messengers, we've got shifting i was very drawn to a horse we've got a horse coming on in here it's like the, everything is going to start when you're really clear about what it is that you want so we're just going to clarify this three of um three of cups okay we've got the hermit i'm kind of drawn i haven't read anything else upside down i don't think um but i'm kind of drawn that the hermit is upside down here so come out of come out of hiding um come out of hiding okay um the right people are there um it's time to just be clear about who you are and what you want um and if you're not clear about who you are and what you want then the people around you are not going to be the right people around you five of pentacles new beginning financially things are going to shift there is a new fresh change as you change your energetic approach to what it is that you want money will start to flow um, there will be a, a, a real new beginning, a real um, massive opportunity coming in with this nice of swords energy. As soon as you take the leap of faith towards what it is that you want, the money starts to flow again. If it hasn't been for some of you, um, because it's your heart centered energy that um, starts the whole magnetic process. Uh, OK, Knight of Swords, there it is. Knight of Swords clarified by the four of swords self-love self-love is what is shifting everything for you no matter what happens self-love is the start and end of everything and it's as you start shifting this commitment to not allowing dominance to um override your ability your need your destiny to soar um if you find your thoughts shifting towards worry about other people and, and and being sleepless at night go back into that energy of um just uh what's the right word grab hold of that energy of self-love everything everything will work as you maintain that energy of self-love um okay Right, let's just get a little bit more just to finish out, Pisces. What is going to happen next? Spark. Okay. All right. You're ready. You're ready to light your spark. You're ready to um you're ready to set this in motion. So fire up those thought processes of positivity, fire up those thought processes of um decision making about what it is that you want to happen next you can even like draw a list of saying right if i walk through this door what are the pros and cons if i walk through this door what are the pros and cons um and what's going to make me happy go through all of those and say how do i feel so for example um one door could be well i kind of continue on a path that is not optimal for me but it's um it's the right thing for me for now how do I feel about that? Because your mind has analysed it. Or you can go through this door, which is like, oh, I'm so excited because I can do all of these things. But your mind is saying, yeah, but you can't make money that way. And you, your, your, your heart is going, yeah, but it's so exciting. If you choose that path, which is really exciting, you're going to magnetise the things that need to help you go forward. And it doesn't mean to say that you stop doing straight away what it is that you don't quite enjoy doing if you need to pay the bills because the money will come more of it will flow to you on the other side and then there's a question of just like right how do i how do i manage the transition but i think you're on that transition point pisces i think it's i think you're just so ready to go towards your the dreams that you want to soar okay um we have got the three of wands yeah look you're just about to take this leap of faith you're about to there's the path there's the there's the right 
way to bridge the gap um and um you're ready to put your creativity out in the world let's get one more card and we've got the lovers <laughs> okay you're ready to step into your future you're ready you're ready the card can, lovers can be a card of choices we started with choices we're finishing with choices choose you and the right people will come to you the right person will come to you if you're after a person um and the right circumstances will come to you as you choose you um choose what's in your heart and keep that self-love intact okay time to commit your mind to working with your heart to choose the path the course of direction of your life that is right for you this isn't about taking action this is about emotionally committing to what will make you sore what will make your heart sore and ghosting the energy being prepared to ghost the energy that doesn't and and let the bones go let the magic happen let your ancestors turn the wheel of your fortune not taking the bones of your past about what you think you need to do to please others and everything is going to shift forward counterintuitively you kind of need to rest up um mentally and allow the emotional energy to stir inside of you and make all of your commitments to your future based on right this is what I want and this is what I'd like to get from it uh, sorry and I'm just going to labor the point a little bit just uh, sorry if you're bored with this <laughs> I just want to make sure I get the message across that's coming through for you if you reach out for help or somebody comes into you if you're not 100% sure about what you would like to happen next, you can end up being pulled back and dominated into doing something that you don't want to do. So if somebody says to you, right, you've asked for help, what help do you actually want? What do you want? Um, so for example, let's say you have a business idea and you go for investment and you sit down in the front of a load of people with money and they say, my God, you're amazing. This is just such a good idea. Right. We're going to give you money, but what are you going to do with it next? What, what do you actually want to do with it? What do you want to see happen? Um, what is it that is, you know, your next right actions? Where do you want to where do you want to be with this idea in a year? Where do you want to be with this idea in three years? Where do you want to be with this idea in five years? Now, going out five years is hard. It's hard for people to think long term. But that is what the universe needs you to do, because it's ready to help you set sail. It's ready to put the wind in your sails. It's ready to bring the supplies and the the environment that is going to be conducive to you achieving where it is that you want to sell to is going to bring you the support, your crew, your team to help you. Um, but the universe needs to know which which path, which destiny and what you want to happen next. OK, so that is kind of like your job <laughs> from the universe um, as uh, as channeled through this message. OK, Pisces, take care. Bye.